guys live. Surprise sneak attack. All right, I don't have anyone in right now. I just decided to go live on a whim and I'll, I'm gonna go through everything and then I'll post it later because I did not announce this. But um, this might seem like something very petty to talk about. And this is Chrissy Teigen. So the reason I am talking about Chrissy Teigen is this. If you don't know the background, hello, thank you for joining in, you guys. I just decided to pop on. Uh, I'll wait just a few minutes just to see if anyone else comes on. But we're going to be talking about Chrissy Teigen. I know that sounds silly, but we'll get to it in just a second. Hello. Okay, we got three. Woo! Got three. Okay. I'll just go ahead and get started. So if you don't know what's been happening with Chrissy Teigen, good evening, everyone. Hi, Chris, how are you? Thank you for joining. Okay, cool, we got a few more. So the reason I'm talking about this is, this is Chrissy Teigen. And if you don't know what's been happening with her, uh, Chrissy has a, a long history of calling people out and bullying different people. Well, why are we talking about this on here on this is a channel that's sort of more political. This seems a little petty to talk about. Well, the reason I talk about it is because so if, if you're if you're unaware, Candace Owens recently called out Chrissy Teigen for bullying and encouraging young underage girls. I'm doing good. Thank you. All right. Awesome, Chris. Thank you for being here. Um, Chrissy has called out and bullied young girls on the internet, encouraged them to commit suicide and things like this. And the reason I bring this up on this channel is because this is someone who is followed by the president of the United States of America. Hi, Special K. This is a, a woman that is followed by the president of the United States of America and who has bullied and demonized Trump supporters, especially conservative women. And this is a little bit personal to me because this is the type of thing that encourages people in my close circle to bully and say nasty things to me as well. I've had family members, I've had close friends that because I was hired on a conservative sketch comedy show, because I make these videos and you guys have followed me, I think for a while now, I'm pretty sure you have a decent judge of my character, maybe not all the way, but I've had people tell me that I have no morals, that they don't know who I am anymore, all of a sudden because I'm outspoken about things that they don't agree with. And sorry about that. And someone like Chrissy Teigen perpetuates this. So this isn't gonna be a long live. Um, so anyway, Chrissy Teigen, uh, Candace Owens called her out for bullying young girls encouraging them to commit suicide publicly. And this is not just a one-time thing. This is a pattern of behavior with Chrissy. We, I've done videos about this in the past, so you can look those up and look up the whole stories. Well, she recently issued a public apology and we're gonna read it. So that's what we're doing on this live today. We're gonna read Chrissy Teigen's public apology. I'm gonna give you my thoughts on it. And then we're gonna look at a new development that has come out since this was released. So this is Chrissy Teigen. Um, again, she has, you can look up all, all the stories about this in the past and, and what has happened in the past. So this is what she wrote. She's been silent for a few weeks now and she recently wrote this. So I'm gonna read it through you. I'm gonna read it for you. So Chrissy, and if you don't know, you can look up Candace's videos. I think your character is very stand up and honest. Thank you very much, Chris. Um, well. The thing is, and the reason I talk about this, you do just find no forgiveness for her. We have we have too much on her. Okay, well, I'm gonna read this on I'm gonna read this to you. It's gonna be very short, not very long. There's a new development, and this is probably one of the most atrocious things. I, I couldn't believe what I saw. So let's read Chrissy's apology. And 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 you know what? I'm I when I first heard this came out, I gave her the benefit of the doubt. But then this happened, and this is why this is serious. Okay, here we go. So Chrissy, this is her, those are emojis. Ah, go away, emojis. We don't need you right now. Okay, so this is Chrissy's blog on Medium. This is what we're reading right now. MacBook Air, by the way, brand new. I love it. It's great. It's so light and airy. You can bring it anywhere. Uh, okay, Chrissy. Hi, all. 
It's been a very humbling few weeks. I know I've been quiet and Lord knows you don't want to hear about me, but I want you to know I've been sitting in a hole of deserved global punishment, the ultimate sit here and think about what you've done. Not a day, not a single moment has passed where I haven't felt the crushing weight of regret for the things I have said in the past. As you know, a bunch of my old awful, awful, awful tweets resurfaced. I'm truly ashamed of them. As I took them, as I, as I look at them and understand the hurt they have caused, I have to stop and wonder, how could I have done that? I have apologized publicly to one person, but there are others. When she says she's apologized publicly to one person, thank you. I know I just buy, I spent all my money on that. Not all my money, but I spent a good amount of money on that. Um, when she says she, public, she, she apologized publicly to one person, she apologized to a young girl who she blocked. Hi, Kelly. We're publicly reading Chrissy Teigen's uh, apology for her behavior. Okay, let's continue. I publicly apologized to one person, the person she blocked, but there are others and more than just a few who I need to say I'm sorry to. I'm in the process of privately reaching out to people I've insulted. It's like my own version of that show, My Name is Earl. See what she did there? Is it in crayon? <laughs> no, she typed this, but the, the first draft might have been in crayon. We're not sure. Um, so you see what she did there? She tried to make it cute and funny by comparing it to My Name is Earl. This is clearly a PR stunt, or not a PR stunt, but this is a PR push to help her um, uh, improve, to help her save face. So what they probably told her was, hey, just be quiet for a little bit and then come out with this apology. Okay, so let's move forward. I understand that they may not want to speak to me. I don't think I'd like to speak to me. The real truth in all of this is how much I actually cannot take confrontation. So someone that bullies people and tells them to commit suicide can't take confrontation. But if they do, I'm here and I will listen to what they have to say while apos apologizing through sobs. So she's saying, please feel bad for me. I'm so sad. There is simply no excuse for my past horrible tweets. My targets didn't deserve them. No, they didn't. Um, no one does. Many of them needed empathy, kindness, understanding, and support, not my meanness masquerading as kind, casual, edgy humor. I was a troll, full stop, and I am sorry. When I first started using social media, I had so much fun with it. Hi. Hi, Felix. When I first started using social media, I had so much fun with it. I made jokes, random observations. Think of all the engineers working day and night to develop this amazing new platform and technology, connecting people all over the world to learn, create, and, and find kindred spirits. And I used snark at some celebrities. That's what you call it. In reality, I was insecure, immature, and in a world where I thought I needed to impress strangers to be accepted. If there was a pop culture pile on, I took to Twitter to gain attention and show off what I had at the time I believed was crude, clever, harm harmless quip. I thought it made me cool and relatable if I poked fun at celebrities. You mean when you poked fun at young girls who were a lot younger than you and had a smaller following than you? Now, confronted with some of the things that I had said, I cringe to my core. I'll honestly get sharp, stabbing pains in my body, randomly remembering my, my ass I deserved it. Words have consequences, and there are real people behind the Twitter handles I went after. True, I guess. Chrissy is strange for sure. Yep, you're absolutely right, Chris. It gets better. Don't you leave just yet. It, the best is at the end. Um, how could I not stop and think of that? Why did... I think there was some invisible psycho celebrity formula that prevents anyone with more followers from experiencing pain. How did I not realize my words were cruel? What gave me the right to say these things? I wasn't mean in my everyday life. More than once, someone would come up to me and say, you're such a nicer, you're so, you're so much nicer in person. 